It all started in high school with Mr. Zolo. Mr. Zolo was my social studies teacher, and he was great. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my life back then, and he really inspired me. I had him for three years in a row. I had him for global studies, U.S. history, and sociology. He was a pretty new teacher, and uh, he inspired me to become a teacher. I still see him to this day every once in a while, but he wasn't the only reason I decided to become a teacher. I had my sister Amy. Amy graduated from New Paltz. She's exactly 10 years older than me. The way she loves her job, the way she acts in the classroom, the way she treats her students truly inspired me into becoming what I'm doing today. The main thing, though, was the Cheesecake Factory. After working for the Cheesecake Factory for three and a half years, I learned a lot of things about myself and what I wanted to do with my life. The Cheesecake Factory was and still is a very lucrative place of employment for the time being. In the beginning, I was still in SUNY Rockland with high hopes, good grades, but very little ambition. I was working very hard and school seemed like a nagging obligation that was getting in the way of me making money at the Cheesecake Factory. Two and a half years passed at SUNY Rockland and I still didn't have a set life plan. Work was seemingly becoming more profitable and promotions from server to designated trainer almost immediately followed by expediter ensued. I finished my semester and didn't register for the next one. My parents were visibly devastated and did not approve of this decision. I blankly promised that I needed some time off to reassess what I wanted to do with my life, but I'll go back to school. With that school, work was great. I had more time to concentrate on memorizing endless corporate specifications, menu items, ingredients, and everything else which turned heads of corporate bosses, all at the age of 19. Then came the managerial offer. Now, now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds stunningly similar to the movie Waiting, and yes, indeed it does. The plotline is very similar to my life, and I couldn't believe it myself, but this actually did happen to me. I wanted to. I really did. And I went home, and the only thing I could do was talk to my parents about it. And I did. They told me I shouldn't do it. I kindly refused the offer. General manager wasn't very happy about it, but it had to happen anyway. I remember clearly that it was no more than a week after I did this that I had to start applying to colleges, with New Pulse being my first choice. I got in. This semester has been full of revelations as Fieldwork 1 was the first experience I've had in the classroom. Much of the information learned in class corresponded exactly with what the mentor teacher did to carry out his class. Obviously, walking in the first day to this school was nerve-wracking, but the butterflies quickly cleared. Mr. Constable was the very best mentor teacher I could have asked for in this introductory setting and explained my million questions with ease and professionalism, which made me more informed and ready to take on the next challenge accordingly. One of the things that surprised me mid-semester was when I observed 11th and 12th grade at my high school that I used to go to. It was the middle of spring break, and I'd been used to observing in a 7th grade classroom for the entire time of my field work, and I decided to go back to my old high school and observe. What I saw was a little bit surprising. I noticed a difference in characters and the setting and the classroom itself. Now, this being the first time observing in 11th and 12th grade setting, things are going to be different. I felt as if the 10th and 11th graders and the teachers teaching that were teaching more for the test, more for the regions, as opposed to 7th graders and 8th graders were being taught some life lessons. The teacher there was more of a role model, and I've realized that high school all that seemed a bit different. Indeed, the students were a bit calmer, but it seems that they were a little bit more lifeless in the classroom, where the teacher is more of someone who has to only ingrain subject matter. I would love to know what the future holds, however, I'm not a psychic. So far, my time here at New Pulse has been very successful, and at this point in time, my decision of being a teacher, or wanting to be a teacher, is etched in stone as far as I'm concerned.